hello once again, Mod War Forest. Brilliant, this time I'm going to show you how to make a well. And several other things, possibly terraforming outside to make your forest look a little bit more appeasing and make it a little bit safer to live. And as you can see, my dwarves have moved all of our little beds and all of our little uh, storage units in there. Uh, we're going to be making some tables pretty soon. Uh, but for now, all my dwarves are quite busy. Uh, I'm not sure if my miners will get to it straight away, but I'm going to teach you how to make a well. Okay, say for example, well, no, first of all, I'll explain it well. A well is made with B and then L for well, but you need several things. First of all, you need a block. Blocks, which can be made very easily by a mason. Very, 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 very easy. Lie slash milk free bucket basically means an empty bucket. Buckets can be made easily at a uh, carpenter. A uh, mechanism can be made at, pardon me, a mechanic. And I believe you also need a rope, which you can make out of cloth or you can make it out of steel or whatever the hell you want to make it out of. And I believe that's it. I'm not very sure. I think that's everything. But yeah, once you've got a well, you can basically put it over a hole, okay? So say, for example, I had a big hole that went all the way down to this cavern, okay? All the way through here. In fact, I could do that if I want to, but I'm not going to. Uh, but that would serve as a perfect well, you know? The cavern would never freeze. But yeah, basically, a well can go down infinite Z levels uh, with a bucket, you know, much like how, how you'd, you'd, get, you'd uh, get your little bucket. You'd reel it down the well, reel it back up. Uh, so basically pretty cool it's very very useful but I'm gonna show you how to make one from a river say you're on the same Z level as a river you know how the hell do you make one it's quite hard to explain it but with a video it's a bit easier so I'm gonna place my well here okay and we're gonna use channel for the first time this is gonna make a downward ramp it may take my no my daughter's gonna do it straight away that's good okay so now we have a downward oh actually that's fine I was about to uh, get frustrated but no I thought I was gonna hit my air uh, my sleeping quarters, but I forgot. Okay, so anyways, so now we have an upward ramp here, a downward ramp there, okay? So that's a spot I could put a well over here, and it would take water, if water was there, it would take it out. And by the way, this is an entirely safe way to make a river. One thing we know it is, some people think it's not, because water pressure works very differently. Uh, in, in, in water, uh, yeah, water pressure is in this game. Uh, but it doesn't affect rivers because they don't have pressure because they're rivers and they're flowing somewhere You know, they aren't it isn't all trapped up and all trying to trying, trying to spread It's not going to because it's already going down somewhere. So it won't flood your fault This is what a lot of people believe. This is a very very easy uh, we, Easy way to make one. So we're gonna make a fairly big room here and oops, Three way right there and we're gonna go right underneath the river Okay, so we're right underneath the river at this point I'm gonna go ahead and let my little dwarves do that. There we go, they're gonna start mining there now. And it will say that the stone is damp. If you go underneath or above water, it'll say, you know, it'll say it's damp. It doesn't mean you're gonna hit one necessarily. I think I've covered this before. Uh, but yeah, it's good to make a fair, you know, I could make this one wide. That's a possibility. Uh, but I wouldn't have as much water because remember it freezes over and in only the water that's inside if you press K You can actually check whether it's inside or not This all counts as inside, but obviously this is outside And it's light. Oh, no, it's actually inside. It's whether it's light or dark that matters My bad. Okay. Oh, no, it's whether it's subterranean or above ground that matters <laughs> My bad again. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it won't freeze in there, but obviously when it's in here, it's a it's a finite source you know everything else outside is frozen so it's good to have a fair amount of space here and having it in a main place like this is very useful especially next to a, a meeting hall you know when they're having a nice meeting or whatever just chilling out doing nothing uh you know they can talk to each other they can uh they can drink it's all good stuff having it all easy accessible oh and as you can see now it's told us it's damp now it'll be flashing but we're not gonna worry about, worry about that i'm gonna do all this and then once my dwarf has i'm gonna let him yeah get all that and then I'm going to do something else. It's going to uh, bring all the water in and my dwarf should escape. Uh, one funny story, I actually had a dwarf die because of this once. I'm not sure how he died. I think he failed to kind of path out. Uh, but th that never happens. It won't happen unless, you know, it might be a bug. Uh, so it is semi-dangerous, but quite frankly, it's not something hugely dangerous at all. Like I said, it happened once out of, you know, the, the hundreds of times that I've done this. 
so I do think it was an anomaly. Uh, so there we go, we have done all. So now, the next important step. A channel aqua acts as a, oh god. Okay, um, I'm not sure why this happens. Hmm. One second, I need to think about this. I think if it doesn't have a wall to support against, then the channel will be removed. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Uh, yeah, that's basically because I removed all of the blocks around here, so it didn't have anything to support against. So I actually need to dig a different way out. I'm going to go ahead and make an upward ramp here. But like I said, a channel serves as a downward ramp. A, an upward ramp serves as an upward ramp. A, it's very simple. There we go. So now we do have a way out. I'm going to go ahead and cover that with a wall. Actually, I'm going to cover it with a floor. Because everybody knows how to make a floor. Actually, no, God, I'm not. Okay, I need to actually get down there. So anyways, upward ramps. Very important. I'm going to make my upward ramp here. And if you have a lick of common sense, you'll realise that goes straight into the river. That's very true. It will go into the river. But that's fine. Like I said, water pressure, water pressure is in the game. But rivers don't have pressure, so it's okay. It will not flood your forest. But dwarves can't die. But they won't. So it's okay. If dwarves do die, though, you can message me angrily and uh, get mad. And I'll be sorry. I'm sorry. In advance. It won't happen, though. There we go. So there we go. The was all flooding in there now. And as you can see, there's a little bit of mist there. Mist there is something that appears when water falls. Oops. So now we're going to go ahead and put a floor over this. There we go. Okay, so that's great. So now we do have a well area. That's how you make a well. So all you need to do now is get everything for the well uh, and then put down the well on top of that area you know very simple uh, but one thing to note is that a well does require an architect an architect is another skill in the game it's not very widely used so it doesn't really matter how you assign it to to be quite frank uh, I don't even know why it's in the game it's kind of a worthless thing in my opinion a bit of waste of space uh, but yeah at the minute all my dwarves are kind of lugging everything Wow, that's, yeah, when you've got seven dwarves, it's going to take them so long to gather all of that stuff. Uh, this is why embarking on a mountain can be very, very bad. So, okay, I thought it was going to flood there, but it's not. Uh, I started getting really worried. That would be pretty embarrassing if I said, oh, no, this isn't flood. And then, you know, when I actually decided to record it, it starts flooding. That would be horrible. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cover up this area now. Like I said, several times probably. It's very important to keep everything covered up and safe. You know, if you have a vulnerability like this in your fort, it ain't good. It's not gonna get you anywhere at all. It's gonna do you no favors. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to terraform outside next. So we're gonna learn a new thing. B, capital C, again, for construction. And then wall. It works exactly the same as a floor, except it also restricts, it, it, you know, it doesn't just cover an area and restrict like flying. It also restricts, uh, obviously, you know, if, I, if a dwarf is standing here, he'd have to go around this. Pretty common sense, you know, it's a wall. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, do this and one turn. Now I'm just gonna go max. So max plus one, I know the part on the other side just for symmetry's sake. Rock salt, and this is going to take a long, long time to do. In fact, uh, I may or may not cut, I don't know. Hmm, yeah, pretty sure that's correct. So, we'll go. we do have a fair little bit now. We're going to go and finish up the construction wall. So, this is a bit of a uh, it's a very big restriction on how to get in my fort. You know, obviously, now there's only this free wide area. Which is good, because you, I believe you need a free wide for uh, trader wagons to get through. I'm not sure if wagons are in the game, in fact. I believe they may, may have got removed. But it's important to make it a uh, free wide anyways. Just in case. You know, you wouldn't want to risk. Uh, wouldn't want, want to risk anything. So I'm going to go ahead and continue extending my wall. One thing that can be utilized pretty well is rivers. They obviously can be used as points in which, you know, it's a choke point of your enemy. You can also use it, you can put a drawbridge above and then an enemy can get trapped in the river. One thing to be noted here though is that I'm doing something very particular. I'm going to channel out this river because like I said, basically when it's a brook, it basically acts as an area above the river in which, um, hmm. 
a, a place above the area in which uh, it, it has a this basically is a big floor and then there's the water below it so I need to channel this out so if somebody stand on top of it they can actually fall so then this basically acts as a normal river except it isn't because it now has upward ramps which means somebody can actually climb out the river if there's an upward ramp in the river you know they can swim in the river but obviously if not then they're probably going to uh, die of us uh, of having lots of water in their lungs which you know even for tough sturdy monsters it ain't a good thing at all okay so we again haven't made anything god damn my mason but yes this can take quite a long time to terraform properly and that's a hole in it to put a floor there but yeah i'm gonna think i'm gonna cut here because quite frankly i don't really have a lot to talk about uh and in, in what i'm doing right now uh we do have a fair refuse pile in the next part i'm gonna cover immigration waves please god let there be an immigration soon if there's one while i'm finishing this i really hope there is i'll talk about it but if not too bad uh butchery and tannery us usage if the immigration wave comes terraforming of outside which i've just covered and traps traps are something very important and i will be able to cover it when my first migration wave comes but for now uh, we're very limited uh thank you very much for watching please if you have any questions please 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 feel free to comment or check out the communities that i mentioned before all very helpful and they'll be more than happy to help thank you again for watching Oh my god! Oh, disregard that. Okay, migrants have arrived. <laughs> I was right about to uh, stop recording. Okay, migrants have arrived. Migrants have been over migrants, why they exist, okay? Uh, when migrants arrive, we dwarves. Oh my god, suddenly we have extra dwarves. But one thing to be noted, very important, a really good thing about dwarf therapist is this group by. Where the hell is it? Migration wave, okay. <gasps> so now we have an extra migration wave. Sadly, we only got two. Like I said, the numbers vary very much. Okay, so see who we have. One thing you can do rather than scroll along, you can just hover over. So we have a dire slash pacifier. I believe a pacifier is a, a, temp of a, a, a type of talking to somebody. It's kind of disappointing getting this few dwar uh, dwarves in this wave as well. And we have a presser and pacifier. Holy crap, that was probably the worst migration wave I've ever got. I really hope you don't have a migration wave like this. Okay, but probably the essentials in this is first of all to make a stone crafter so now we have somebody to craft us stones and stuff as well as that we'll have extra people to, to uh, bring stone you know uh, lug stone garbage uh, dumps it's a huge useful thing uh, and I'm sure you get familiar with dwarf therapists now if you just fiddle around for a little bit you'll get very used to it you basically like I said and I think I've covered you know you just click stuff and then magic gets assigned Un it click stuff and it gets unassigned Wow so good so we also have a presser and i'm gonna make him my butcher slash tanner and i'm gonna show you how to kill animals for food and water next time uh sadly i don't actually have another dwarf to become a mechanic so i guess i'm gonna have to delay the whole mechanic stuff for now commit pen changes obviously uh and i'm just gonna go over the dwarves the dwarf migration so they come in from random parts of the side of the map and then they'll straight away they'll path into your fort and they'll feel right at home Obviously, they don't have any relationships because they haven't talked to any dwarves. If we look in the relationship menu, all he has is a two gods. He isn't even a friend with the person he came with. Why did he even come with him? I don't know. It's totally beyond me. Okay, so we're going to also channel this out. And our mason is working very hard at doing this as well as making tables. At the minute, it's taxing him quite a lot to ask him uh, to uh, be making tables for my hospital and be doing this you know obviously he's one guy he's not hugely skilled at it. uh but yeah i think that's everything for now what i said before is what i'm going to be covering i'm going to be covering butchery and tannery especially right at the start uh as well as i'm going to be covering how to make a bridge here a very 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 hugely useful uh choke in fact in that case i am going to make a mechanic I'm sorry about the confusion so i will be making a mechanic out of somebody I won't have a dedicated mechanic, but it will suffice. Thank you very much for watching. Please watch the next one if you'd like more dwarf, more dwarf, no more, more, oh my god, no more about dwarf forests. Thank you.